This is part three of our series of videos on section 1.1 of the text on propositions and connectives. In this part we talk a bit about negation and useful denials. If P is a proposition, then we studied something about the negation of P in the previous video. The term useful denial of P refers to any proposition that is equivalent to the negation of P. In other words, it has the same truth value as the negation of P. As you'll see in this course, it is very important in learning to write proofs that you know how to come up with useful denials. You'll see this when you write proofs by the method of contradiction and by the method of contrapositive, which we'll study in the next few weeks. For example, if P says line L has slope 2, the negation would read, it is not the case that line L has slope 2. That's not hard to understand, but it might be a bit better instead to say, L does not have slope 2. A better example would be if P says, line L does not have slope 2, then the negation would be, it is not the case that line L does not have slope 2. Um, this is not as useful as if we put the useful denial of line L has slope 2. Primary examples where it's a good idea to employ useful denials arise in the use of De Morgan's laws. Recall they say that the negation of an OR statement is equivalent to a certain AND statement, and the negation of an AND statement is equivalent to a certain OR statement. When you write these things in words, the right sides of de Morgan's laws are often easier to understand and provide useful denials. We illustrate this with the following two examples. Here are two examples for you to try yourself. For each one, write what is the negation and then write a useful denial. Pause the video so you can give it a try, and I will give you my answers when you return. So the first example says, line L has slope 2, and line M does not have slope 3. The negation says, it is not the case that line L has slope 2, and line M does not have slope 3. So written in this way, it's hard to understand and maybe even ambiguous. I can imagine people understanding this in two different ways, depending on how you group the terms. But note that it's an AND statement, so we can get a useful denial of it by using one of de Morgan's laws as follows. Either line L does not have slope 2, or line M does have slope 3. So you see we've negated this part of the statement, this part of the statement, and we've changed the AND into an OR in order to get the useful denial. Example 2 is similar to the first example. The only difference is we've changed the word AND into OR. And so, um, the answer to this one is quite similar to this one. So we'll write down the answer. 